Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to film aesthetically pleasing content, whether that's for YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I've got you covered. You've probably noticed on social media, there's a lot of content that is so clean, crisp, and just And it's probably good to jump on the bandwagon now, rather than later. Also, these kinds of short form, aesthetically pleasing content is actually a lot of fun to make. You can set it all up and then batch film a lot of content in one sitting. These kinds of videos are really good, whether you're showing off a product, or you're trying to show how to make something, or even magic. We're not getting into it. It's actually quite easy to set a shot like this up. I'm gonna show and talk you through how I set this shot up, then I'll go into detail about what equipment I used, my export settings, and then I'll give you some tips on some things that you might not have thought about. There's a lot to get through, so buckle up and let's get into it. For the overhead shot, I used a desk mic stand that I clamped to a shelf. If you need to film with an iPhone, then you can use one of those iPhone arms that clamp to stuff and then you bend it in whatever angle you want. Or you could use a magic arm. Just make sure whatever you are using is stable and not gonna fail on you. For the surface, you could use a table or what I used is a thin sheet of oak veneered MDF. My dad is a carpenter, so he just provided me with this. But what you want is just something that looks nice. If you want audio for your video, then just use whatever audio equipment you have. You can mount whatever mic you've chosen to a small tripod, then just place it next to your scene, pointing at whatever it is you're playing with. If you are finding this video useful, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you are trying any of these techniques, then definitely tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. There's a link to my Instagram in the description below. In terms of cameras, again, use what you have. You are gonna want a wide-ish lens. For example, I'm using the Sony a6700 with the 16 mm f1.4. Although it's a 16 mm lens, my camera is a crop sensor, so it's actually only 24 mm. The aperture f1.4 is gonna give me that lovely shallow depth of field when I bring that product closer to the lens. You can also achieve this on iPhone using cinematic mode. Let's quickly talk about lighting. I'm shooting this next to a window, so it's giving me that lovely soft natural light. Normally using natural light can sometimes be problematic because the clouds move around depending on the wind, which changes the brightness and it can just be a bit of a nightmare sometimes. But for short form content, you're probably only recording for a small amount of time, so it's probably not gonna be that noticeable unless it's a really windy day. If it is dark, then I'd recommend getting a light that you can bounce off of the ceiling, and then this should give you a similar look. So that's the shot, but it looks a little bit boring. So let's zhuzh it up a little bit. We can do this really easily by just adding a few things. By adding in a small house plant, you're bringing in a little bit of color and you're just making the shot look a little bit more interesting. Now, obviously you don't want this dominating the shot, so you just want it poking in in one of the corners. Now, because my channel niche is about filmmaking and photography, I'm styling the shot subtly with little bits and bobs that relate to that. For example, if you're trying to shoot a coffee product, having it styled with camera equipment wouldn't make any sense. Instead, I'll try and subtly style the shot with coffee products. The key word here is subtly. You don't wanna to go too overboard. You don't need to fill every corner with stuff. Another tip is to change it around every now and then. If you have multiple surfaces, then you can change it around for each one. It just helps keep things fresh. Let's quickly talk about recording settings. I always film my content at 4K 30 frames per second. This just allows me to crop in if I need to and not reduce any quality. Once I've finished editing, then I'll export it in 1080p and then I'll upload it onto socials. This seems to give me the least amount of compression when it comes to uploading it to social media, but I know loads of people upload reels in all sorts of different formats. Now, I know that was a lot to pack in and I really hope it was useful and not too overwhelming. When you're new to this kind of stuff, it might seem a little bit unreachable, but I promise if you keep practicing, you will get really good at it. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. Also, don't forget to tag me if you do try any of these tips on social media. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you found it enjoyable. Have a great rest of your day or evening and I'll see you in the next video.